Hi guys, it's Adam and today I've got a small job lot of tins to show you. I paid £31.24 in total with commission and stuff um, and yeah, it, it, I got some good stuff in it. I did pay up for it but yeah, there is some great stuff in it. I've moved it into a smaller box because it was in, you know, a massive box. Um, but uh, so I just, yeah, I'm just going to go out get a few bits out of it so then I can delve right into the bottom of the box. Um, but yeah, there's some cool things in it. There's some new old stock. There's some. Uh, there's a couple of nice tins as well that I bought, that I researched prior to buying it, obviously. Um, so this was the one. I'm just get it out. This was the one that piqued my interest in the lot. Smith's Twilight brand, brand tobacco. Now one had sold on eBay for forty quid, so I thought, you know, that's my money back there. Um, but unfortunately. It is in rough shape, this one. The other one that I sold was in better shape than this. So I'll probably stick that on for 30 or something like that. But that's still a good chunk of my money back just in that one. So that was cool. Um, right, what else? I'll, I'll show you the ones that I remember prices on first. Because I did research a lot of this prior to buying it. Um, but I've forgotten prices on a lot of it as usual. As I usually do. Um, but this one... I think that was like £10, £8, £10, that one. I'm going to try and get this bit off here. A bit annoying. I think it's got paper clips in or something. Cause that's rattling around. Yeah, it's got some paper clips in. Um, so that's what's rattling around inside there. So that was that one. I got this, which was pretty cool. Pyramid handkerchiefs. Just get this open. I don't know whether this is... This might be new old stock. Oh, that, that glare, that's terrible. There we go. Um, so, yeah, it's got this, like, this cardboard band around it still. Or is that? Yeah, it's like cardboard band around it. So, I'm thinking that's new. But anyway, I don't know. Um, but that's quite old, I imagine. Uh, well, it's not got a barcode or anything. So, it, you know, it's got to be, got to have some age to it. Um, Pre-74, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Um, so I don't know what I can get for that. I did research it, but I don't think there's any of this, like this packaging on eBay. Um, but I mean, it's got to be worth 10 or 15 quid that, surely, to the right person. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I got this, which unfortunately there's a big sticker over the tin, but I think I'll be able to get that off. Um, but inside this tobacco tin is flints and wicks and there's loads of them in the original packaging like i'll just show you like how many i mean there's big stacks of them in here big stacks of them um so yeah, that was cool so i don't know whether there's any money in them but there might be uh, and then i've got the tin of course if i can get that you know this big sticker off here that might be quite good um i got these which are new old stock again um, they're like some sort of protector or something for your, for your lighter, I don't know. Silver match windshield. Uh, and then it says price 1 and 6, so what's that, 1 shilling and 6 pence, I think, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and I got, obviously, it's, there's not the full 6 in there, I think there was meant to be 6. But it's just four, but they were pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's those. I got this, which I, I imagine that's pewter. Made out of pewter. Um, and then it says, People's Friend on the top. So I imagine that's a brand of something. But I don't know what. But anyway. I'll have a research of that one. Um, there was this, Burfocated Rivet. Burfocated rivets, it says there, but you won't be able to read that. Um, but it does say slotted rivets underneath. Battered up though, that tin, I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. Um, also, there was this one, which I do know the price of. If I, actually, I won't be able to get that out yet. I'll have to get this one out first, because otherwise I won't be able to get that one out. Um, so this, which is a Huntley and Palmer's, says, I don't think you'll be able to read that. Oh, actually, yeah, there you go, you can. Huntley and Palmer's Biscuits, 
wedding in London, and then it says England at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a bit worn, it's a bit of a dark tin, I don't know whether it was meant to be lighter, or it, it was lighter than that, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, that's alright, but I don't know, might be some money in that. Um, so that was that one. I got this, which is in amazing condition, but I don't know whether it has like loads of age to it. Berwick cockle, cockles. Um, yeah, it, the, the, it's really, really good condition, all this on, you know, the, uh, is it printing or is it like a sticker? I don't know. Um, but yeah, really good condition. So yeah, I don't know what I can get for that, but there's got to be something in it. I do know what I can get for this one. I think that was about an £8 tin, so nothing amazing, but, yeah, it's in okay condition. Show you there. Oh, that side's a bit rough, actually. I didn't see that sticker on there. I'll have to try and get that off. Um, but, yeah, that was all right. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely money in it. It's just a case of how much, really. Um, and then I got these, which were something for your lighter. Something for lighters. Wrap this paper around lighter and oh, can't see that there. Cut to remove overlap. Da di da di da. You know, I'm not going to read it all, but something about lighters anyway. I've got from that. Um, so that was those loads of them in there. Whatever they are. I got this tin. Looks like some sort of Japanese tin or something. I don't know. Um, Oh, it's a Japanese theme. It might not be a Japanese tin, but looks like I don't know. Maybe Far East theme. Maybe not Japanese, but um, says Mokata. Um, so that's a really nice, colourful tin. I really like that one. Um, and it, ha it, you know, it's in good condition. It has a nice little bit of wear, but not too much wear. You know, um, on the top there, a nice little bit of wear. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. Oh caught myself on that that really needs shoving in but it you know it won't go in so i've just got to leave it there until i sell something that needs a big box you know um and then i got i think there's 13 of these in total oh there's something else there actually i didn't see that but i don't know what that is check that out but i don't think it's anything i got 13 of these new and sealed thin gillette blades um seen someone in America selling these for £3.82 each, but I don't think I'm going to bother with, you know, selling them individually like that. Probably sell them in one big lot or in bundles of four or five, maybe. Um, yeah, did I say there's 13 in here, I think? So, yeah, quite cool they were. So there then. Um, so I'm going to leave them in there because I'll put everything back in the box in a minute after this video. Um, and then I got a lighter. Nothing amazing, I don't think, but I'll have a check out of that. And then finally, I got some 10 Gillette blades. 10 blue Gillette blades. 10 blue Gillette blades. Uh, new and sealed again. Now that guy, that photo there, it looks like it's... It looks like a 1920s photo, but I don't think these are, like, 1920s. I think... I, I'm imagining these are, like, 50s or 60s. You know, shoot me down if I'm wrong, but I think that's probably more like it. But it just... The photo there looks like it's from, like, 1920s or 30s. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so they're pretty cool. Um, so that was it. Yeah, so it's... You know, nice little little haul to start me off in the antiques world. Um, I know a lot of these probably aren't antique, but they're, they're certainly vintage. Um, but yeah, a nice little haul to sort of get me uh, get me off the what's the what's the phrase? Get me off the starting block. Is that right? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so cool. I quite like this one. I mean, it is it. There's not really much colour in it, but I quite like it. So, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to put all these back now so I won't bore you and ramble at you for too much longer. Um, but, yeah, so that was quite nice. Um, I have got some studio pottery coming, so I will do a haul on that as well. I've got seven pieces of that coming. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, 
and I've got tons more things coming as well as it as it is um, I'll try and do hauls when I can but I've just got so much to do at the moment um, so yeah I'm gonna leave it there guys so yeah see you very soon and I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't um, and yeah if you've got any comments or questions please leave them down below bye for now Thank you.